All right, all right, all right. This is gonna be fun. Hello and welcome to my thoughts and opinions on the film, The Gentleman. Starring Matthew McConaughey and everyone else. <laughs> it, it generally feels like everyone in Britain is in this film. You've got Colin Firth, you've got uh, Hugh McGregor. Wait, hang on. So this story starts off with not Hugh McGregor, but Hugh Grant's character breaks in to the house and tells this story, which is apparently a true story because he's a reporter. And yeah, he is the standout star of the show because Hugh Grant is more of a hello, I'm Hugh Grant. I'm very, 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 very important person. And then he goes, "Is I'm a fucking Londoner, I is He is the standout. Anytime he's on on screen, he is fantastic. And this movie, um, there's other characters I'm really liking it. Colin Farrell with his boys are fantastic because he <laughs> he's like that. He, he reminds me of Del Boy from Only Fools and Horses. Like, oh, I'm, I'm the bee's knees. Wait, this bigger guy will uh, stay back from him. But I am the bee's knees. You know what I'm talking about. And from the start, yeah, Matthew McConaughey. Brilliant in this film. Um, I just like his sort of like... He's very rare in this film, but when he gets angry, he's fantastically wicked because he there's this level. He's like I'm in control, but when you when he get, like raises his voice or gets aggressively angry by something, that means like oh shit hit the fan. Else in the movie is Charlie Hunnam. He is the sort of the actor who's like the sort of like meant to be the main lead but actually isn't the main lead type main lead type role, if that makes any sense. It does sort of like evolve around him because he's around Hugh Grant's character, he's around Matthew McConaughey's character, he's around Colin Farrell's uh, character. So he is technically the main character to follow as well. And not to say there are some bits I did not like in this film, especially Henry Golding. His character is fantastic. I love his character in this movie, but you don't see enough of him. He's 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 just there as a character he's, he's one of those ones where I'm like I'm eating a cake I'm eating my cake and then somebody just snatches the cake away from me that's what his character is I just wish he was in there a little bit more for my liking another one I was like mm, about was Michelle Dockery I she's so just annoyingly there in the role like it's a lot of like Strong guys, mm, look at my muscles, yeah, type sort of movie. Um, and she sort of like, yeah, she play, she is Matthew McConaughey's wife, and she's sort of just there for most of the movie. She she owns like a car repair um, place, so it's run by all women, and I think, okay, fine. It's just, are they all like secretly trained into like? Um, guns or something like that no they're just they just work on posh people's cars and they're all female workers so yeah i was like okay good good but it, it just she, her role was just there in my opinion it just i wanted a little bit more of her she was just she's just there as a character just mm. this is my um first time sort of like watching a guy Ritchie film and i was i was entertained i was definitely entertained there was bits of which i would probably change around the plot is pretty pretty good uh, but yeah so my famous rating scale what do I rate it I rate this great British gangster up that's also another good thing about this movie it makes you feel fun for gangster movies it is a very fun film but it is great British gangster off I have a feeling these um, ranking systems are going to be un understandable and confusing for a lot of people and annoying. So, the gentleman, have you seen it? If you, what did you think of the film? Remember to subscribe and all that stuff. And famously, Dankeschön.